Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin, and today we are on the second to last episode of Movie Monster March. This series has been really fun overall, and it's been really fun to go back and draw creatures and characters from different stories that I've loved in different movies. And I think one of the most iconic ones from my childhood is Harry Potter. And the beautiful thing with Harry Potter is there's so many great creatures and monsters, and this was a really, really hard decision. I went between like three or four different ones that I really loved, like I really like the Hungarian Horntail, and I can't remember which type of dragon it is, but the dragon that's in the safe is really cool. And I also really like the flying horses that pull the carriages to Hogwarts, I can't remember their names either, but the ones you can only see after you watch someone die, and I just really like their design, and like you guys know, I kind of like creepy and kind of grotesque looking monsters. So I actually had someone post this one in the comments a couple videos ago, and I didn't even think about this one, but I'm like, this one is really cool, and I should try this one out instead. So today we're drawing the Basilisk from Harry Potter, and I'm really excited to tackle this one. So uh, you know what, let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, so this one was a ton of fun, but I want to go ahead and preface real quick. Um, I wanted to apologize real quick, because kind of towards the middle of the painting, I did a bunch of detailing, a bunch of highlights, and a bunch of extra work, and I forgot to press the record button. So, yeah. So there's a bit of a jump in part of the episode, so I apologize, you guys. I just totally spaced. I got really into painting, and then I look up, and it says, press start recording, and I'm just, ugh, I was so mad at myself. It's just because I was painting and drawing for a long time, then I got up to get some water, and I forgot that I pressed stop recording, and then I came back, and I sat down, and I started painting again, and it was too late. I already missed a bunch of detailing, and I forgot to press start recording. So I hope you guys can forgive me. I'm trying to get better about staying on top of it and not forgetting to press start recording, but yeah. Anyway, besides that, this one was still a lot of fun to do. I got really sucked into doing this one. I talk about it kind of at the end of this whole painting, but it just, it was a blast. A lot of these more detailed paintings, I have to take frequent breaks just because either I get frustrated or I don't get into them as much or, you know, just get water, um, take care of life stuff. Maybe I have to go cook dinner or lunch or take care of the dogs or do something. So I take breaks here and there, but this one in particular, I was able to just completely get sucked in and just draw. And that was really nice to have that. So I was surprised at how quickly I was able to crank this one out. That's why this episode's a little bit shorter because in the past, a lot of the times, the bigger, more complicated paintings like the alien one or just any of them within the movie Monster March, they can range anywhere from like four to eight hours of work. And that, you know, ranges between either me getting a little overworked and overwhelmed by how much work there is, or it's just like there's so much to be done that it just takes that long, or just having to take frequent breaks here and there or getting distracted. There's a lot of, I guess, factors that go into painting these. But when I'm able to just sit down and really focus and completely dedicate all of my brain power to just painting, usually I can get through a piece within like three to four hours. It really depends. I think this one in particular was like a three and a half to four hour painting. Yeah. And the other ones of the past have been closer to like five to six hours. And I know one of them in particular, I think it was the alien one actually, that one took eight hours. It's always nice to crank out a painting faster, and it's also nice for the speed paint because I can only speed it up so fast because when I go over a certain amount, it starts to get lost and it goes way too quick. So I try to keep it around like a thousand, two hundred percent times or whatever. Um, but when a painting goes on for too long, sometimes I have to make it even a little bit faster just to make sure that the video doesn't go into like 30 minutes long. But it's always nice when I can just get a painting done and it's pretty good timing and all that. So just a little fun fact for you guys about the ins and outs of making these speed paints. <laughs> but besides that, yeah, I had a lot of fun drawing this. I really like the Harry Potter series. And like I said in the intro, it was really hard to pick which monster to draw because there's so many great mythology creatures within Harry Potter that I just really, really like. And it was hard to just pick one of them. 
Um, and I, I really adore the franchise. I've seen all the movies and I've read all the books, but it's been a really long time since I've read the books. Um, I think they came out, when did they come out? I remember I started reading them in middle school because at my middle school they had like a reading program. I forgot what they called it, but you would read a book and then take like a short 10 question quiz to get points. And then those points you could redeem for like prizes. So I read a lot of books in seventh grade, like a ton of books. And what was even better is the longer the book, the more points you would get. So for example, Harry Potter and Aragon and, um, oh God, what other long books were there? I just remember for sure Harry Potter and Aragon, since they were much thicker, longer books, you could just read them and it would be triple to quadruple the amount of points of the thinner books if you scored like 100% on those tests. So I read so many of the Harry Potter books in one go. I think, I, I can't remember which books were out. I think the only the first four Harry Potter books were out at around that time. And later on, well, no, there must have been more. I don't remember. Later on, I know in high school were when some of the other books came out, because I remember specifically reading Order of the Phoenix in high school. So I don't remember if it was just out and I didn't get around to it, or it just came out around that time. I can't remember. I'd have to go back and look, but I just specifically remember Order of the Phoenix was actually one of my favorite of all the books. Um, for some of my friends, it was a little bit more dry and they didn't like that one as much, but I don't know. I just... I really like that book, I really like that movie, and I think that one is my favorite from all of the series. I do also really like the uh, Chamber of Secrets, that one was a great one. And there's just so many good aspects in all of the books. I could go on about them, but you know, I, I really should go back and read them and I think I'll rewatch the movies coming up here soon. Yeah, it's just, it's been so long and Oh, I know what I'll do. Since I don't really have time to really sit and read, I think I'll just go buy the audiobooks. I'll get the audiobooks of all the Harry Potter books so that I can re-listen and re-read quote-unquote them. Because I, I know I need to. It's been way too long since I've touched those books. And I know I need to, because I think since I read them when I was younger, I missed a couple of aspects of it, and I really want to reread them and really enjoy them fully and then probably go back and watch the movies again. Uh, I just, I really like the series. Just one in particular that I remember is my parents used to have these really big trees in their backyard and my brother and I always wanted a tree house, but sadly the trees weren't big enough for that, but they were big enough to put a pillow in them and like lay there and read. So there was one spring where we put a big body pillow up in the tree and the branches were just woven perfectly to be kind of like a cup that you would sit in. So I went up there and sat and read one of the Harry Potter books for hours. And that was just such a fond memory and such a fun time for me as a kid. And I really miss those days of just being able to sit and read. So I think I'm just gonna go back and re-listen to them. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, well, I'm getting closer to the end. So I'll let you guys just go ahead and enjoy the rest of the speed paint with some music and I'll see you guys at the end. Bye guys. and we're all done. I really like how this one turned out. I just had a blast with it and I just sat down and cranked this one out. Some of the drawings I do are just so long and tedious that I need to take frequent breaks or 
I'm not really into drawing the piece as much throughout the process, but this one I just sat down and cranked it out and it was a lot of fun. And I also wanted to apologize because I realized during one part of the recording I forgot to press start recording. So there was a slight jump where I had all the shading and highlights done and I didn't record making that part, so sorry guys, I just kind of spaced on pressing the start button. So thanks again guys for stopping by and checking out this video and I'm really excited for this Friday's video which is the final one in the Movie Monster March series. I hope you guys really enjoyed the series and if you like this video you can go ahead and leave me a like down below or comment down below, I'd love to chat with you guys. And if you aren't already you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button, I have new videos every week. And I guess I'll be seeing you guys in the final edition of Movie Monster March. Bye guys.